Sometime around late September 2022, I began carrying out vicious frenzied attacks on multi-packs of mince pies. I'm now wanted in seven countries for violent hate crimes against chocolate animals, and I have single-handedly performed quantitative tightening on the chocolate coin supply and circulation in the UK economy. I have hence come to the quite stark realization that eating as if it's Christmas for three whole months of the year is not a sustainable approach to nutrition, neither for maintaining some semblance of a physique, nor for general health and well-being. I think I was acting as if an eating disorder is for life, not just for Christmas, when really that phrase just applies to dogs. Anyway, the plan to rectify this should probably be a slow, shallow dieting phase that focuses on sustainability and gradual progress. But since I lack the patience or inclination to diet for any prolonged period of time, I'm instead just going to partake in my now traditional annual mini cup. In other words, I'm just gonna beat the ass out of it for two weeks and see how lean I can get. Let's do it. I'm also gonna get a haircut at some point in this next two weeks. I'm aware that that is a quite a pressing matter. So, you know, it's not part of the transformation. So the first weigh-in came in at 178.8 pounds and 16% body fat. And this is what that looks like on day one. I've purposely done this away from natural light so that the conditions will be consistent in the before and after shots. So I'll take some freeze frames out of this video and compare against those later. A few things to say before we move on. First, this is obviously still a pretty decent physique relative to the general population. Second, this is a pretty not decent physique relative to my own typical condition. And the third, the only difference really between this and a physique that is really, really stand out, is he even natty impressive, is probably only 10 or 12 pounds of fat, all of which I do not expect to lose in this two week period, but I do hope to make a dent in it. So then I just did it. I set my MyFitnessPal to 2,500 calories and I aimed for 180 grams of protein, 290 carbs and 69 fat. Most days I actually ended up under calories, somewhere between 2,3 and 2,4. Still hitting protein and fat but going a little bit under on carbs. One day that I definitely went way over calories was New Year's Eve. Now that was planned and it's pretty inevitable if you're going to start a diet on the 28th of December. Probably did set me back a little bit but after careful consideration I've decided that I can indeed live with myself. I ate normal stuff, mostly porridge oats and a shake for breakfast, usually a pretty light lunch, sometimes eggs on toast, something like that. Snacked a lot on fruit or these yogurt things from Aldi that are technically cheese uh, and then just the usual stuff for dinner but maybe a touch more calorie controlled than normal. The lifting part of my routine was again pretty typical. I trained solely in my home gym. I lifted 11 times in total and averaged about an hour and 20 each session. I used Push, my own training app, and I stuck to my full body program as normal, at least for the first week after which I had to adapt some workouts. My full body program is currently on the screen. If you want to check out the app, there's a Jan sale going so you can get a yearly subscription for 22% off through the top link in the description. Check it out, use a seven day free trial and then just cancel without paying anything if you don't like it. This is where I made a grave error. I did precisely zero cardio for the first week, other than playing football once for an hour. 
I knew that weight would drop off me in that first week. It always does. So I planned to just see how it goes without cardio and then ramp it up a lot in the second week when I needed to. However, that plan was predicated on the assumption that I'd have two fully operational knees for the entire two weeks. And unfortunately, on the 5th of Jan, I was playing football, went in for a challenge, and my entire right leg twisted in a way that it's not anatomically designed to do. So following immediate pain and a not very brief trip to a &E, it was diagnosed as a soft tissue injury to the medial collateral ligament. Now, as knee ligament injuries go, that's actually one of the better ones, but obviously this left me unable to do any cardio, unable to train legs, or even just go for a walk for the entire second week. I mean, no cardio on training legs, could probably live with that, but not being able to use leg drive when you're benching, right, starts to affect the chest. That's a true tragedy here. Anyway, I had to adapt my training, so literally every day was upper body day, and that's really all I could do, other than just get on with it. Talk to me about the results, get to the point, what happened? All right, I weighed myself 11 times, always in the morning, always before food, that's quite important. My starting weight was 178.8 pounds and my final weight was 172.2, giving a total weight loss of 6.6 .6 pounds. It wasn't linear, it rarely is, but it wasn't actually that far off. On a graph, it looks like this, and note that this is weight loss, not fat loss, probably only a couple of pounds of that is actual fat. The rest will just be from storing less water and glycogen and things like that. All things considered, I'm pretty happy with that. It's a pretty rapid rate of weight loss, to be honest. It's not something that I would like to sustain for very long because at some point you would put yourself at risk of losing actual gains, which is not what we want, is it? But over a brief period, it's completely fine. My body fat also went from 16% to 14.5%, which I won't read too much into because those scales are probably not very accurate, but it's still nice to see it go down. All right, let's do the physique comparisons. All right, first, that relaxed shot. I don't think you can tell much difference here, really, whatsoever. Uh, shall we move on? Let's move on. Tense shot. Maybe you can tell a bit of difference here. Again, not much. Definitely around the chest and shoulders a little. Maybe that bicep vein is ever so slightly more prominent in the after picture. We're talking fine margins here, aren't we? We're splitting hairs. All right, the front double biceps. I think the main difference is really just my waist looks a little bit more narrow. Again, you know, maybe a bit of definition in the arms. We're talking minimal stuff. And then the full length side by side shots. Yeah, just, just nothing to see here. Let's, let's move on. I'll be honest, as opposed to like whatever I am normally, I expected better. Right? In previous years, this two week mini cup seems to have yielded more dramatic results. So I went back and I checked my old videos and I was actually surprised to find that I lost more weight and body fat this year than I did the last time. The difference, it seems, is the starting point. See, the reason I've always been able to do this in the past and show quite a visible difference is because I usually maintain a level of body fat where I'm just on that threshold where fat loss makes the most visual difference. If you're 20% body fat and you get down to 18%, you gain precisely zero definition, right? You went from looking smooth to still looking smooth, right? You might look smaller or thinner, but definition wise, you gain nothing. And it's pretty much like that all the way down to maybe the mid, maybe low teens, maybe even towards like 12% body fat. But at that point, because you have a much thinner layer of body fat, every extra pound lost makes a huge visual difference. So my usual January mini cup starts slightly above that level and ends slightly below that level. Hence, I go from being you know, smoothish to not smooth and it looks impressive, right? That's, that's the secret, really. It's really just that the way I do lose is in that zone where it makes the most visual difference. This year, I just went into it a couple of pounds heavier, read fatter, than usual. So I didn't really cross that threshold. My suspicion is that if I was to carry on for maybe another week, maybe even less, I'd get past that. And then definition would really start to increase pretty fast and it would look like a bigger change. Now, despite my lack of usual shreddedness at the end of it, I hope I've still shown you that you can do quite a lot in two weeks, right? Even if one of those days is New Year's Eve and even if your entire right kneecap is kaput, yeah? I'm not saying that everyone should try or even aspire to get shredded, but 
The same principles applied in this video can be used regardless of the stage that you're at, even if you just want to go from morbidly obese to what's the normal one? Conventional obese. You know, calorie deficit, lift, cardio, repeat until desired consistency is achieved. I meant consistency like I was doing it like a cookbook thing. You know, like you, you whisk until the right consistency. Oh. It just doesn't miss irrelevant. Ah, fuck me. Joey Lenny is my hero. 